lecture of uh, quantum mechanics. In the last lecture, we have discussed about uh, the superposition in classical mechanics. Now, in this case, we'll discuss about uh, quantum superposition. Quantum superposition. Now, this is different from what we have learned in classical superposition. Uh, we, let's go through it and we'll understand like how it's different from classical superposition. Uh, <clears throat> see, uh, first of all, these uh, this quantum superposition, this is associated with uh, uh, subatomic elementary particles like electrons, uh, protons, nuclei, photons, okay. Uh, you can say the microscopic domain, right? So there's a microscopy in the microscopic domain. This works. Okay. Now, <clears throat> or any other object which is uh, showing a uh, um, wave particle duality, wave particle duality, or any other non-classical effects. Wave particle duality. All right. So let me write it. All right. So uh, now, for example, if you have, if you see, uh, if you take a, a classical object or a microscopic object like a cricket ball. Uh, you can, its energy is continuous, like it can have kinetic energy uh, ranging from uh, 0 to infinity joules. Infinity, I say it's a big, big number, okay, infinite is any big number. Okay, so there is no restriction that the, what the energy is allowed for this ball, okay. And it, it can be at rest, this represents rest. And this can be at any like this represents at it can be thrown at any speed. Okay, so ke is equal to half mv square. All right. So, but what quantum mechanics says that the the energy of the cricket ball is quantized. Okay, like the ball's energy is ball's energy is quantized now according to quantum mechanics according to quantum now i'll be writing quantum mechanics as qm all right according to quantum mechanics ball's energy is quantized now meaning this means that it can take only it can take only certain values and nothing in between certain values and nothing in between all right uh, this is a uh, counter intuitive uh, for us human beings because we cannot observe it with our, uh, with our classical eyes all right so uh, the the gaps in the energy are too small to be measured on the microscopic level as such, it is treated to be continuous for macroscopic objects. So, for macroscopic objects, uh, like the energy is objects, and the energy is taken to be continuous. Okay, like the energy is taken to be continuous, is treated as continuous. Right. Uh, but this energy is not continuous when it, we go to microscopic domain in the subatomic particle or elementary particle case. Okay, in that case, uh, the, the the gaps are uh, significant. Okay, and uh, it's more pronounced at smaller scales. So the energy gaps are more pronounced. Energy gaps are more pronounced at smaller scales.
Okay, so uh, Bohr model, we know, uh, like we have studied in our uh, earlier classes that Bohr like model this hydron atom uh, as like using quanti quantization of energy levels for a proton and one electron bound state. So he quantized energy levels, quantized energy levels okay for a electron proton bound state so this is a bound state now there are uh, a lot of things related uh, associated with the, this model uh, there are drawbacks also uh, but this was the first model uh, which uh, like uh, whose results matched with the experimental results uh, the hydrogen spectra was being uh, we were able to find out the uh, energies of the hydrogen spectra okay energy levels so this was quite successful in that but in uh, some way this the quant the modern quantum mechanics uh, does not um, uh, is contra contradicts this model okay we'll learn about it in detail uh, but just we wanted to show that uh, what he did was he uh, this is the nuclei okay this is the nuclei which contains one proton and there's an electron going around this thing so there's a bound state which and he modeled this uh, hydrogen atom uh, using uh, the quantized energy levels. Now, this quantized energy levels uh, actually gives you the states in which the electron can be. This electron can be in the ground state, can be in the ground state. Ground state meaning with energy of the ground, energy in the first orbit. Right, or it can be in the first excited state, okay, which has a higher uh, like energy level uh, go keeps on increasing. So this thing, uh, so this is how it was modeled, and the by en energy quantized energy levels, we mean that uh, the mm, the states uh, it gives the corresponding states, okay. So, the number of uh, energy, uh, discrete energy levels, the number of uh, states available. All right. So we'll uh, understand one aspect of um, uh, quantum mechanics um, using a uh, coin. Okay. So, you, if you find these uh, lectures useful, then please uh, like, like, subscribe, and uh, share with your friends.